going on YouTube? It's your boy Shy Mai, and today we're gonna program the ambient lighting. Um, real cool feature, obviously. Um, all of the G12s um, have ambient lighting. The G30s, um, even the G20s. A lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of um, the G models have the ambient lighting, um, but it's pretty limited. And you have basically because um, I changed it, you don't see the um, second menu for in this case bronze white. I just have it set to bronze bronze or orange orange white white blue blue but um in a, uh, another video i probably showed you guys how to change the top one to a custom color um to say the top one being red or this top row anyways but when i say top one i mean the, the bronze um selector basically so the top one would be bronze and then the bottom one would be up whatever color you selected let's say for um the bottom one but that would be in like the main menu of the um beamer code so like right now i have it set to green so if i push green it don't have a green and a white selector it's just green green and green um the same thing with lilac um if i select lilac then the first one will be lilac and the bottom one will be lilac as, as well so i'm going to show you guys how to program each one individually um so that if you want you can pretty much um you can pretty much get just choose any color of the the, the spectrum basically any color you can think of um you can choose it and add it so basically what i did um basically uh, just now what i was doing is i had it set before where if I push this one right here to basically bronze, it would change the color that I had programmed from, from bronze anyways to red and blue, actually the obvious Bima M colors. So that one is already set up. So what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna program it real quick back to the to blue basically so what will happen is it'll be blue and obviously the light blue color at the bottom um just so i can show you in expert mode how to change them and so you can actually see it changes so let's wait till it finished programming or coding it back to blue and then I'll, I'll show you that it's blue and then we'll go in expert mode and we'll change each one individually i'll show you guys how to change each one individually um just to give you guys an example or give you some background i'm a cisco engineer and a Microsoft systems engineer. I own a computer store and um, I sell and repair computers for like the last 20 years. There's not a computer on this planet I can't fix. Uh, I tend to think I'm the best repairman, but um, that's just my opinion. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's not a computer on this planet I can't fix. The reason why I'm saying this is because this particular um, video, the stuff that you're gonna be doing, it may seem like it's difficult, but again, from a, from a technological standpoint, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's really simple. The only difference is, um, is or the only hard part about it is it's tedious because it's a lot of a lot of lights um, mapping that you have to change in order to you know get the color that you want, and you gotta have kind of understanding of like um, what the hex value versus what the RGB value is. So, if you go on Google and search RGB to hex converter you should come up with a converter some um include like a palette where you can kind of like move the cursor around to like the color of the spectrum that you want so if you move it in the red area you can go from pink let's say all the way up to real red if you slide it to the top right corner of the red one let's say all right so that one is um finished i'm going to show you again now if i push um the bronze one it should I, I, I change it it didn't let me program that again so i'm gonna go in like the the main menu and program that to blue real quick um, i don't know what happened the first time but we can go ahead and code it again so like i was saying back to the hex value so if you if you want it red red let's say red and rgb is basically the r value of the rgb is red or, or in this case we want red so the r value of red would be turned all the way at its highest which is 255 and then for the green and the um blue value you would turn them all the way down to zero zero basically being the lowest value so they're not on at all kind of think of it like in you know elementary school when you was doing primary colors basically so white and black make gray so in rgb terms let's say or if there was a white or black half of white basically like 127 and half of 
um, black 127 and then the other value you know hypothetically in this case because um, there's no white and black uh, value in the RGB spectrum so you basically let's say the green would be turned all the way off and the other two values like I said would be half and half and it would create in this case white so or an uh, example that we can you know refer to on this between the red and blue and green we could say um, red and blue basically make purple so half a red would be 127 we turn the red value to 127 we turn the blue value to 127 and we turn the green value all the way to zero zero basically and to create purple um, the same thing in hex basically so if you convert it you know basically hex is pretty simple it's kind of like a equals one b equals two let's say all the way up to its maximum value of f's basically and two f's equal the highest value in RGB basically 255 so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and manipulate each color of this um, RGB spectrum because that's the way they list it so first you want to I assume you want to find out the color you want and again you don't have to just pick red blue green you know simple colors you can select any you can have pink you can have whatever color you want magenta blah, any color of the spectrum um, so basically you just got to figure out which color you want find the, the the hex value for it and then we'll program each one individually so okay it's finished uh, coding let's check that down so if I push the top one it should be blue blue so now we're gonna go into expert mode basically and I'm gonna show you guys how to change them individually so what I would recommend um, before I even start this is guys don't go and start inputting all your values in. get the entire um, ones done from you know bronze all the way down to lilac and then have the beamer code sh shut off on you basically if I was you I would program each one individually so start with you know just row one and then go to the second row and then program you know so when I say row one I mean in this case there are actually two rows that if you look in your car you probably see the bronze and then the bronze and white so row one row two then you row um, in this case the second basic selector which is orange same thing row one and row two so we're going to go in to be code and we are going to type at the top color in germany which is f-a-r so you see it already coming up so let's scroll down to as you can see there's ensemble 10 layer 5 um ensemble 11 layer whatever one through five, uh six it should be um or in this case three but there's some that go up to layer six but the one we're going to work on right now is layer one so or ensemble one in this case layer one La ensemble one layer one basically not the bottom layer or the second layer so for each one there should be three values again red blue and green so right here as you can see layer one b is blue layer one g is green green layer one r is red so as i was explaining to you before we want to turn off because i want to make that red we want to turn off all of the blue value so in this case the blue is on a custom value of all the way up because that's what we programmed it to and just before i program i'm gonna just show you um again so based upon what i just told you green and red should be all the way off to create that blue right there so let's verify that let's go into the red value it should be set to zero zero so all of the blues in this case this one and that one are turned to zero zero no blue tint at all in this particular red and no red at all so it's set to zero zero and the same thing should be true for green just one green set to off basically which is um is this green it should it should be actually set to off but if I set it to off it would do the same thing I'm going to set it to off anyways and the same thing um, actually in the wrong layer that's why um, let me actually change that back to the custom value um, so for the red again we want to turn it all the way on so we're going to create a custom value for red and we're going to change it to FF, which is all the way on. We're going to change back out of there. So that's for the red of the RGB spectrum for group 
for um, layer one. So the green, we're gonna turn it to off like we have it. And the same thing for the blue, we're gonna keep it off or turn it to off. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just select the top one, which is set to zero, zero. And we're gonna change that. What I want you guys to see um, is, um, again, so for this one, that particular color on the hex scale is 0x78, let's say, okay? So that was pretty simple for them to create, but uh, uh, let's go back in there real quick. Okay. All right, so take an example like um, this one where it has three values selected. So FE, FE for that blue and FE for that dynamic blue all equal the particular color that is produced when you select the um, bronze or not particular bronze but in that particular whatever color that was selected on I can't remember which group it is but that color created that particular blue by creating all those colors some of them you could select multiple ones to basically create one color but in this case we keeping it pretty simple we're just going to change the rgb value um and not have to guess around to which color is going to actually create um in this case or have to it's not so much guess around what color is going to create because if you if you if you um put those values in the hex um calculator it'll tell you exactly which color is going to create but what I meant was more so you're not confined by the colors that BMW have created for you, let's say. So again, um, let's go back. Layer one, the RGB value um, for red is all the way at 255. The blue is at zero, zero, and the green is at zero, zero. Let's just confirm that one more time. Um, green should be at zero, zero. Blue should be at zero, zero as well. And red. Um, disregard what I'm saying because I'm in the wrong layer but um, it, it'll show up too basically but um, blue should be at zero zero um, for layer one F layer one green is at zero zero and layer three a uh, layer one for red is at again we change the value to 255 or FF so let's go ahead and code that and let's see if it works for us. And the same thing basically for each one. So you just go through each one, like I said, and come up with your own custom colors and you can have each one change individually. Um, for that one right there, um, same thing as in one of the groups. If you, if you change it, it'll change it to a different color. So it's not always the color that you select for the contour of the car. Um, uh, this is programming. Let's go ahead and wait so we can see the color change. I went through each one individually and um, turned off just the white portion. Um, in the first one, like I said, my favorite colors is red and blue. So, bam, I got that with one swipe. And I don't really need a whole selection. Maybe at Christmas time, I change it to red and green or what have you. Um, I had it at Easter. Actually, I had purple and um, a color, of, a different color of purple, pretty much like a basically pastel colors. But, again, it, it basically represented Easter. Um, you can do that. You want to change it to orange or Halloween, whatever floats your boat. Um, but that's pretty much the way that is done. Um, and again, like I said, you can you don't have to just settle for red, blue, green, black, and white. You could get any color you want on the spectrum. Um, I haven't tried like a bona fide black, but it might work. Um, I assume this light again could change to any color that's on the rgb spectrum so go ahead and play around with it let's see what we got here it's finishing up so let's go back to the settings um vehicle settings lighting interior lighting and then for the colors when i select the top one it should be red again and it is so again it was pretty simple like i said it's not that hard it's just a lot of i mean it is a lot of work it's but it's, it's tedious at best you know so just go through them and play around with it see what you come up with man if you guys um just post some pictures that'd be great to show some of your different uh, combinations that you guys come up with but if you need some help like i said drop me a comment man and as always like and subscribe appreciate it man if you guys got some ideas for videos 
let me know. I'll get right into them and we can get some new content up. But thanks again for watching the video.